Hey guys, I just wanted to put together a quick video to go through the Amazon um, Keyword Revenue Planner that I attached to my first day's um, case study. Um, if you've not read this case study yet, then basically this is the first day we, where I explain um, how to set your goals and how to val validate a market. Um, in day two, we obviously go through the market research and, and you should be able to check that out right now. But um, for this video, I just want to quickly explain uh, what I talk about where is it here so first it's I'm basically talking about how you can validate a market whether it's worth worthwhile entering or not um, and what I explain is that there's a simple but perhaps complex looking um, formula and calculation I guess to basically figure out what sort of revenue sh you should be able to um, ascertain from um, jumping into a market basically um, so I just want to give a quick example of, of that. Um, the sheet I'm referring to is this. Um, basically, it's just a, it's a very, very simple one. A lot of people use these things. I actually saw another guy who's posted a very, very similar, um, very, very similar sheet to this. Um, yeah, I think it's just something a lot of people in the industry use. And it's very easy to make. However, at the same time, I'm, I thought I may as well provide you with one that I just quickly rustled up myself. Um, yeah. Just to explain what this is, is basically when you've got a market in mind and you've got some keywords and you want to sort of figure out whether or not they're going to be profitable, um, a good way of checking it out just initially is by basically filling out this sheet. So you add the keyword here. So in this example, best baby monitor, the monthly searches, which you can get from Google Keyword Planner or Longtail Pro or whatever tool you're using just here, best baby monitor, 14,800 searches. Um, Next is the website CTR. Now, this column here, this column here, this column here, <laughs> and that's about it. I mean, yeah, these three columns that I highlight highlighted in, in orange here are forecasts. Uh, what I mean by that is it, you can't accurately predict what they're going to be. Um, you can base it on experience, which is sort of what I'm doing it or you can base it on data that's available or studies that have been that have been um, created um, throughout the years so things like the SERP to website CTO what that is is if you're ranking for this term best baby monitor um, then what is the likely click-through rate that you'll get for ranking for that term um, now I I know Moz did a case study once or, or some people on Moz did a case study once in July 2014 here um, what this basically says is the CTR, um, and obviously we know for a fact that it declines as you go further down the organic SERPs, and that's obviously why everyone wants the first position. However, it's very unlikely that you'll achieve the first position at least straight away, so what we try and do is take an average of the top five, I guess. So here you can say the top five is 5% 5 CTR. So that's what we're doing basically. We're taking the 5% 5, 5 CTR that a top five position gets, or 5.5 in this case we just say 5 and we're using it oh crap we're using that in our forecast so 5% so what we're do, saying here is baby best baby monitor gets 14,800 searches per month we're going to hopefully hit the top 5 position and we're going to get a 5% CTR from that 14,800 searches we'll get 740 clicks to our website the next step is forecasting the website to Amazon CTR now this is basically based on you getting 740 visitors per month. How many of those visitors will go and click through your Amazon affiliate links and go to Amazon? Now, this is more based on data that I have and also industry data, which if you even go on some Facebook groups, um, you'll realize that a lot of people say between 20 to 50% CTR. Um, mine personally is usually between 30 and 50%. Um, and the sort of design of the website that you're looking to get that sort of Amazon CTR from is the very generic um, best, well, best baby monitor in this case, and then some content tables which highlight five or six product recommendations with you know the price and some features and stuff, and a nice product image and a click that uh, a click a link that says go through to Amazon. Those sort of tables you get a very good C CTR. Um, in a lot of cases 30% and above so we're going to keep the 30% here 
And now what's, the, what's this, what this is saying, sorry, is 30% of these go straight through to Amazon. So now we've got 220 people on Amazon. Now we need to figure out how many of those convert. For this, I, I believe this is quite a low CTR, uh, conversion rate, sorry. Um, I have very similar, um, keywords in a different niche that get a conversion rate of about 10%. So we're just using 5% to be conservative. So let's just say 5%. Okay. So 5% of this is obviously 11 sales. The next part is the Amazon commission rate, which you'll probably be aware starts at 4% and goes all the way to 8.5% at the moment. Um, it starts at 4% and I think after you hit, after you hit, uh, let's just check. Okay, here we go. So 4% is 1 to 6 products, 6% 6 is 7 to 30 products. So let's just go with 6%. 30 products, 7 to 30 products should be quite easy to hit once you've got some rankings. So let's go back to this. We've said 6%. Um, it, when you establish, obviously 6% is going to be quite easy to achieve and you're going to probably want to change this to 7 or 8%. Um, however, initially when you're beginning and setting out, let's just start with 6%. So we're saying the 6% commission rate on an average order value of $100. Now, where did we get this average order value from? Okay, so what we did is we went to Amazon, we typed in best baby monitor, we checked out, you know, the top selling ones. Here's the top selling one, $175. The next one, $100, $30. All of them, not all of them obviously, but the majority are $100 or above, with only a few being less than $100. These are pretty much $100. The only one really that's much less is obviously this one here, the VTech one, where it's $30. So I say for an average, let's just go with $100. It's a good, easy number to remember. So we're saying $100 average order value, 6% commission rate, which means the commission per sale will be $6. The next is basically we calculate the commission per sale against the Amazon sales, which equals $66. So we're saying for this keyword, best baby monitor, we'll make $66 per month. Now this is just a rough estimate. I honestly think $66 is tiny. I think that keyword would probably generate four to $500 um, with the associated keywords around it. Um, I know, I know there's some, I know I have keywords similar to this and they're making a lot more than $66. So this is a very, very conservative estimate. The last and final column is the average revenue per visitor. Now what this is, is basically it calculates your monthly revenue against the amount of visitors coming to your website, the 740. What it's supposed to tell you is basically as you keep growing a site, it gives you an I a good idea or a rough idea, shall I, of the profit or at least the revenue per visitor that comes to your site. So when you go forward and you're looking at new content and the keywords and the searches and how many people you're going to get through to your site, you can use a rough estimate of nine cents and multiply that by your visitors. And you have another idea of how much revenue you're going to get from that visitor. Again, this table is just, it's just as a guideline. It's not set in stone. And as I mentioned, I think this is very conservative. I think $66 is very small. You have to also remember the fact that, okay, whilst people can be purchasing that VTech product for $30, the majority are going to be spending over $100. If someone purchases something for $220, that's going to be over a double the commission that we're estimating. And that is not going to be unlikely considering it's got 228 reviews. That's got 2,700 reviews. That's $175. That means the commission off that's going to be more along the lines of $9 rather than the six that we're estimating. So yeah, I wouldn't worry too much about the exact figures, but it's a good idea to do this just to get an idea. Good idea to do this just to get an idea of the sort of revenue that you can get and more so the sort of traffic that you can get to your website and obviously the average position that you need. Okay, so that's my quick review of this. I've also provided a glossary which sort of explains what I've just explained above, um, just so you can read over it. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. Um, obviously it's quite brief. So yeah, just go and check out my first day and my second day will be posted very soon. Thank you very much.